quick video review. Just got done watching the Chris Benoit story, uh, Dark Side of the Ring. It's a very, very emotional type of uh, uh, thing that Vice Man. Dark Side of the Ring, I can't, I didn't know they were going to talk about Eddie and Chris Benoit. So that's the first thing I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know that. But they was talking about the friendship of Eddie and uh, uh, Chris Benoit. And the part I feel is going to get everybody is how when Chavo said they called him to tell him that Eddie didn't answer his wake-up call, then they went to the room, the door was still locked, they went in, Eddie was face down, and pretty much Eddie died in Chavo's arms, and Chris Benoit called, like, Chavo, are you sitting down? And they said Chris Benoit never shows emotion. They said he showed emotion that day. He lost it. And I was in high school when Eddie died. I didn't know that it happened like that. So when I saw SmackDown that night, I'm like, what? I get, I understand Eddie died, but I, I didn't understand the, the backstory. Then watching this, like, I'm like this, like, the whole time. And I called my boy up, like, he said, what's it like? I'm like, bruh, it got, bruh. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I shared it a tug, a, a thug tear, I ain't gonna hold you. But like I was a fan of Eddie Guerrero. I, I was a I was a pretty I was a fan. I was I wouldn't be bigger, but I was a fan of him like like dang. And it just lets you know how hard he, it just how like what these wrestlers go through. They said Eddie was like he had got his life together and everything. But the, going back to Chris Benoit and Eddie, like they said they didn't really wasn't well, feeling each other in the beginning. And they like had their differences, not bad, but like they didn't really like each other, but they grew to respect each other and became friends. And like, all I'm gonna say is, in a, watch the show. Watch it. Because part two comes out next week on the 24th. Watch it. Part one is amazing. Part one is amazing. Now, this is just part one. I can't wait for the rest of the season. I can't wait for part two. I can't wait to see what the whole season is about. But this is a good show. It really touched. I don't want to. I'm not saying like, because I'm going to be able to watch it first. And then I'll probably do a follow video. But like this this show is a, it, it's really good. It is really, really, really good. Like it just like I didn't know. But what Dean Malenko said at the end of the show really makes you think. Like people like Chris Jericho said, if you would have told me line and lined up a bunch of wrestlers and told me that tell me to pick one out of a lineup, tell me which one's gonna kill their family, I would never thought it would have been him. It's like and Dean Malenko like and like Chavo said, he got some some strange texts from Chris and Nancy, and it it's like a real life. Like what's going like people been saying for years that they think you know they had their theories, Russell had their theories. But other than that, in the comments, do you think what do you think about the Chris Benoit situation? I mean, like just Chris Benoit, right? What do you think happened? Do you think he did? Do you don't? Do you not think he did? What do y'all feel about it? Because I'm like, yo, I can't wait for next week. This is a... It goes there. I'm out. Peace. I know this wasn't the best review tonight, but like, I don't want to get too much out because I know people still watching it. But like, yeah. I'm out. I'm going to do a review of this show every... I'm going to do a review of this show. Like, this is going to be my new thing I do. But yeah, I'm out.